In this video, I would like to answer many of my clients' questions about supply, demand, and home prices in Singapore. I would also like to debunk some of the myth that if you continue to wait, prices will come down and there will be homes available for you to choose from within your budget. Before we proceed, I produce educational and marketing videos on Singapore real estate and many of my viewers have benefited and contacted me for strategies moving forward. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Singapore Property TV so that you won't miss future episodes. All right, let's dive into this chart, which shows the uncompleted unsold units in the blue line and the URA property price index in orange. You would immediately notice that the unsold supply continues to go down over the past few quarters. Taking into account of the 1,262 units sold in April 2021 and 891 units sold in May 2021, by the end of May we estimate 19,443 units remained unsold. What's obvious is that the unsold units are on a downward trend, reminiscent of the previous declining supply to its previous low of 15,085 units in Q2 2017. Notice back then, we also saw the prices started trending upwards from there. With the COVID measures more relaxed in Phase 3, heightened alert from 14 June, it is also important to note that more people and viewings are allowed in show flats and resale viewings. In fact, it is now 60% more capacity allowed compared to Phase 2, heightened alert, that occurred from May till mid-June. Do note that all viewings and show flat visits are by prior appointment only, so I strongly recommend that you book a slot first with all our show flat appointment hotline, 96971131, well in advance. This chart here illustrates the number of projects that were launched since the circuit breaker period. As we can see, during the initial phase of COVID where movements and business operations were very restricted, only two projects were launched and 571 units were sold, many of which via virtual viewings and online presentations. As we progressed into second half of 2020, 12 projects were launched and we sold an average of 1,045 units per month. In the first four months of 2021, eight projects were launched and an average of 1,181 units per month were sold. As you can see, Buyers were committing to purchases at our show flats, and the demand has been consistently strong. Then in Phase 2 heightened alert, from May till mid-June of 2021, movement and show flat capacity was again constrained. Now, as we enter the second half of 2021 with a more relaxed Phase 3, we believe the pickup rate for July and August to average around 1,200 units per month, due to some exciting launches coming on board as you will see later in this video. So now, if we take the estimate of June sales at around 900 units and re-examine the supply graph, you notice that unsold homes are estimated to drop further to 18,493 units. And that is very close to the previous low of 15,085 units back in 2017 Q2. At this point, I would like to draw to your attention that when it hit that low number back then, the property price index ascended rapidly. Imagine if we were to reach that level again by say Q3 2021, you can imagine the next level of pricing going forward. Now, let's take a look at the increment of supply via release of government land sales to developers. You will notice that the supply of units for sale will only come in the year of 2022. Hence, for 2021, you are not going to see new increased supply of homes for sale in the market. Also, even when the supply of homes for sale surface in 2022, they may not be coming up in the first quarter of 2022, more likely to be in the second half of 2022. The reason is because it takes about one year for developers to plan and obtain planning approval from the authorities. Notice from the chart that during the market uptrend from 2009 to 2013, the government pushed out close to 4,900 units during market uptrend. When the market retreated, the government land sales was reduced to 2,200 units. However, this time round, with the market uptrend from 2017 to 2021, notice that the supply released is just 1,534 units. This is even lower than the numbers during the market downtrend. 
So it may seem counterintuitive that the supply that is rolled out is lower now even when market prices are trending up due to strong demand. Also, some of us may not be aware that in January 2019, the new regulation stipulates the average size of new homes outside the central area to be 85 square meters, and for nine controlled areas, the average size is 100 square meters. This move actually also directly reduced the supply of units coming into the market. That also partly explains why the supply of new units during this uptrend period now is lesser. This next slide here shows some of the sites that are rolling out in the second half of 2021 such as Tembusu, Lenter Hills, and Dairy Farm. And I have to reiterate that the current market situation is grossly undersupplied, especially in 2021. The situation may be alleviated a bit if the, the end block sites that are being offered to developers are all taken up. Notice that in 2019 and 2020, we sold close to 10,000 units each year, and in just the first five months of 2021, more than half of those numbers have already been sold. So this year, I believe we should be selling over 10,000 units easily. The supply in 2022 of 7,400 units are estimated based on the assumption that all the end block and government land sale sites are all sold to developers. Realistically though, it may not be possible that developers will consume every site. But even with that very optimistic assumption, we are only anticipating around 7,400 new homes coming into the market in 2022. So if you compare 7,400 units and the rate that new homes are being sold now, it is reasonable to predict that the unsold supply will reduce even further. Hence, in 2021, you are going to see that you have lesser and lesser choices as you wait further. These are the new launches that are anticipated in the second half of 2021. In case of unforeseen factors, developers could potentially be postponing the launches and hence may reduce the supply in 2021 further. Water Gardens is probably the most attractively priced project. Do note that a recent Ungmo Kyo site has been successfully beaded at 1,118 PSF PPR, and this will translate to a selling price next year at around 2,000 PSF. This is certainly achievable, as Ang Mo Kyo is a mature estate that is popular among home dwellers. So expect prices in the market to elevate to the next level in 2022. This makes it even of strong urgency to secure your next home in the market now with decisive action. Do note that prices of around 1,500 to 1,600 PSF in OCR will soon become history. Passiris 8 is going to be an exciting launch coming up. This is not just another integrated development with shopping mall and bus interchange, but one that provides direct link to the MRT. Cross Island Line Station will be located here that will also see an extension to existing Pungal Station on the Northeast Line. We are also the official marketing agent for Passer RIS 8, so do reach out to me at our sales hotline at 9697131. Canning Hill Piers at Clark Key will provide you with a rare opportunity to own a home by the Singapore River, as I had explained in my other video on Canning Hill Piers. At this prime location near the CBD, we expect the response to be very strong as well. So do reach out to me early. I would like to end this presentation by reiterating that new homes are depleting at alarming rate. I recall in 2019, we have rolled out 46 new project launches. It was an insane year where we could be rolling out six launches in one month. In 2020, with COVID and Circuit Breaker, there was some delay in launches, but overall, we still rolled out 24 new launches. In 2021, we are also seeing about 24 launches provided everything goes according to plan and no unforeseen delays. As you can see, we are not going to have a lot of new supply in the pipeline before the new level of pricing in 2022. So if you're still hoping to get a unit at a price close to those in 2019 or 2020, this year 2021 is probably the last window of opportunity to enter the market. And this window is closing fast. My name is PK So, and we are the official appointed sales team for almost all the new launches in the market. If you like this video, please like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Singapore Property TV. Many of my viewers have reached out to me at 
9697131 after watching my videos and have benefited from further strategies that I had suggested to them. With that, thank you for watching, and I look forward to meeting you soon.